So the most difficult part of this project by far is figuring out all the ridiculous wiring. Um, the significant amount of wiring for the different control circuits I want to have and all the little bells and whistles. I thought about trying to run the wire on the inside. Um, I'm going to have some insulation on the sides. I thought maybe under the insulation, over the insulation. Because of all the different routes the wires have to take, I got thinking about it and it was going to be pretty messy on the inside. I decided that probably best to put most of the wiring on the outside in its own chases. And I thought about making plastic chases and you know what a pain in the butt all that would be really. So I came up with a little chase system that we're going to use. There's a couple things we want to consider when we make holes in this case. One is we don't want a lot of BTU loss and because some of our filaments will be toxic, we don't want any fumes coming out of this case. So the system, the wire system I came up with takes all that into consideration. So you start simply with a rubber grommet. Um, I bought a kit of these, got a bunch of them for like 10 bucks. You take a razor blade and you put your little slit in the bottom. It creates little flaps that open and close and seal around your wire. So we take that underneath here. We put the hole where we want the wire to come through on the outside of the cabinet. We put our grommet in. From our grommet, we have these pieces. This was printed by one of the few printers that we have the stock cover on. And it only cools one side of the print. So if you see, beautiful, right? Well, look at this. I've popped them off, little zits. All right, anyway. So we basically have our hole. We put our cover over the top. It's got two screws. EMT conduit, half inch. I also have some parts that take three quarters. We simply use this as our conduit, as our chase. And we just have a whole bunch of fittings. We just slide that in there. Also, these have a cover that slides on and off. The other thing about these is you can reverse them. So if you wanted your cover to open like this, but you wanted this to come out this side, you can take it in the slicer and reverse that one axis. I mean, it'll be fine. So, basically, here's the first part of our chase. What is it? The T. And we will have half inch going over to here, which will have this fitting. This might fall off. Don't laugh if it does. It's just a basic termination fitting that's flat that can seal up against any kind of box. Real simple. So that'll pop on there. This will be the case for the CR10. This will butt up to it, bring our wire over. Okay, to give you a rough idea <clears throat> of what we're going to end up with, this could actually end up sliding over back more. Um, this case, that way a little bit because there is a power box right here. It is uh, 200 four by 204 millimeters. Um, it goes right here, and this will have a uh, so we'll have our 12 volt power supply, our 5 volt power supply, um, CR10 relay, and your three re relay. <clears throat> this will be a double relay. We need to come down. We'll have another T right here. We need enough room to fit the T in, and we have it because this can go all the way to this edge probably and still catch the chain for the CR10 on the other side. Um, so this will be here. This is actually a half inch, so this one is, um, this is half inch, this one is three quarters. So we have a, the ability to bring a lot more wires in here that are coming from two different directions. It's probably not going to be needed, but the half inch probably would have got a little bit tight. So we'll have this right here. Um, then we'll have our other, same thing we started with. We'll have our grommet here for our screen, basically our screen wire 
and the power wires that for the fan control this will be right here um, yeah so there you go that'll take care of all the wires I'm using two five plus boxes um, SKR 1.4 box at the top it's modified to take away unnecessary holes and uh, take out the notch for that bottom bracket the bottom will be the same thing it'll be a five plus case but this will be standard Creality setup um, and I have one that I was going to use but I've decided to go ahead and print one with the same concept of taking all the holes out in the top half that I don't need um, I have printed a new bottom the under three will not have a raspberry the top will have the raspberry and so your raspberry connections will be right here um, oh what was I going to say the reason why the power supply I want to move this gap up right here is that the power cord comes right into here um, so it kind of needs to be in between the cabinet. So then you have a little connection here And a little connection here to bring wires over We'll just make some with flanges and epoxy it right onto this box right here. So there'll be no screws So this will mount where your extruder mounts and the pink chain will mount to Right here, so you'll have this when it goes up and down um, You have yeah pretty good and then this is thick enough where the insulation will it'll sink in. Um, and then the wires will go up through here. Now there's some other wires that go to the bottom of the machine. And that's what this back chain is for. And we'll just let it hang down and run the wires in it. And if we want to make a bracket for here, we can. And we bring it into there. Or we just let it hang down like that. Here is the bracket for the CR10 that will mount right about here. Then basically this slides on the... Uh, arm that sticks out of the CR10 your spring will fit down through this hole um, and, and sit, it will still sit on the plate and your screw will go all the way through this is the same kind of bracket we made for the under 3 it basically is like interferes with nothing uh, it changes the dimensions nowhere of how the machines assembled it's like a very good solution so we used it here the problem was we couldn't put the chain on the back on the CR10 because we have just enough room to get that. I mean, literally we have just enough room within an inch. This chain is uh, eSun PLA plus blue. It's no good for in this cabinet, but uh, beautiful. And it came out very nice. So that solves the chain problems and those parts are printed and ready to go. We're just holding on cases and we still need to mock up the bottom half and once we mock it all up, we'll take it all apart and take it to paint. Alright everybody, good luck.